What's going on guys? Game Ninja back with another video, a very special one at that. Today is actually the one year anniversary of this very channel, and I actually took the time to write out why I'm going to say this video so I don't stutter and sound like an idiot. Because for the first time, I actually have some stuff to talk about. Before I start though, I just want to apologize for the grainy video. I recorded this gameplay earlier and I have not I have no idea what the heck OBS did. It just messed it up and I'll, I'll fix it in the next episode. The next video that comes out will have non-grainy video. Okay, so now that I have your attention, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for everything. It's been a year since I uploaded my first video. It was a Minecraft tutorial that it makes me cringe beyond belief when I watch it. I took the time to go back and watch all my old videos and only then did I realize how comfortable I've gotten with being a YouTube con t content creator. Ah, I'm stuttering even though I wrote this out. When I first started, I was so nervous that I like made my voice monotone. I, I was like, hi. Hi, everybody. Game Ninja back with another video, and today I'm just going to... Yeah, you, you can see how annoying that got. Even for me to watch it, it was annoying. But um, I, I made my voice monotone in the beginning, and as I went through all of my own videos, I started realizing how I, I could see the progression of how comfortable I started to get with YouTube and how comfortable I started to get just sitting in front of a computer talking into a microphone because and if you guys if you haven't made YouTube videos you don't realize how odd it is at first to just sit there and talk into a microphone you kind of have to really envision that you're actually talking to an audience to get anything done and not sound like not not to sound like this yeah um but anyway my first live commentary was that one unturned video. I don't know how many of you remember that. I, I know that a lot of my subscribers come from that unturned video. And I was so nervous when I made that video because I didn't know how people were going to react. Before then, I had only done tutorials that were kind of scripted in my head in a way. But that was the first video that I did was that was actually like a fully live commentary that was like nothing but me reacting. And holy crap, people were so supportive and they liked that video so much. To this day, that commentary is the most popular video on my channel. It's got somewhere around like 2,000 views. It's just amazing. In the year since I started YouTube, this channel has grown to like 70 subscribers and I could not be more ha happy. I've never in my life thought that there would be 70 people that thought that my content is good enough to subscribe to. I'm a bit disappointed in myself that in a year I've only created somewhere around 20 videos. I feel like I could have been a lot more productive, but hey, you win some, you lose some. I was a beginner. But now that I'm done talking about the past, let me say something about the present. So you may have noticed that it's been quite a while since my last video, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get a video out, but I, at least I can explain it now. Since I started YouTube, I've been working on the uh, Linux operating system. I don't know how many of you know what that is, but basically it's not Mac and it's not Windows. So, yeah. And um, I've been working on the Linux operating system, and one of the disadvantages of Linux is that not all games support it, especially Bethesda games like The Elder Scrolls and Fallout, which are some of my favorite games. So I decided to install Windows on my computer so that I could play those games and use under other Windows-specific software. The problem with that, though, is that the video editor that I'm familiar with and I've used since the very beginning is Linux only. So I had to find an alternative. Turns out Windows doesn't really have a good free non-linear video editor that suits my needs. So I spent a long time trying to f find one and I eventually found one that is, uh, I guess it's good enough. But uh, I'm sure they'll start to get used to it more and eventually I'll actually like it. But for now, it's... Not, I'm not going to be able to do as much fancy editing as I'm used to because I'm not really familiar with this software yet. So it's going to be a while before you start to see like all the special effects and stuff. So just wait for that. But um, also, I've been having problems. I've been having problems launch launching Arc on this new Windows computer. It just keeps giving me error after error so it's going to be a while before i'm actually able to play that so if any of you are waiting for arc episode three or something then that is going to be a while and okay with that out of the way i want to talk about where i'm planning on going with this channel i'm going to try to put in a lot more time into my videos this year and 
I want to start recording a lot more frequently. I've, I've talked with Get Dost, and he gave me a lot of good feedback about what I could be doing better in my videos. So I'm going to take that advice and hopefully improve the quality. And I want to make them a bit more action-packed and cut out all the excessive content that doesn't really add to the video. That way, it's going to be more like highlight reels than what you're used to of like it basically being me recording my gameplay and putting very little cuts or anything into it and just that straight video and so it's going to be a lot more fun hopefully and i can cut out anything excessive that is just boring so that's i'm i'm excited for that so that i can get more like exciting content and, and not this sort of boring uninteresting stuff Another thing, I'm starting to use how to learn. I'm starting to learn how to use Blender, uh, 3D modeling and animation software, and I'm hoping to sometime in the future release a couple of animations or something onto the channel. Trust me, though, it's gonna be a long time before I'm satisfied enough with my own animation skill to release an animation to YouTube. <laughs> Lastly, I want to leave you guys with a request. With 70 some odd people following me, I, I want to have your guys' feedback. The reason why I do YouTube is con to connect and to form a community, so I just want you guys to tell me what you think of each video in the comments. I don't mind if it's criticism or anything. I'm, I, in fact, I embrace criticism. I like to know what I can do better. So just every time I release a video, I just want you guys to think about that and just leave a comment. Show, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think I could be doing better and just say something not anything really although that I, i'm not saying to just spam comments please but anyway um that's pretty much all of my rambling ranting session for this week and i'm hoping to get another video out next week if i can but we'll see about that hopefully anyway thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next video